This video is sponsored by Milanote. How do I tackle my every single commercial production? These are my six tips on how to create the perfect 15 second commercial. I was tempted. How's it going, y'all? It is awesome to see you tune back in. So today we're diving into my six tips on how to create the perfect 15 second commercial. Tips I use that I've learned over the years while filming these short 15 second ads for brands. And without further ado, let's jump right into them as we go through the behind the scenes of my previous client shoot. <sighs> okay, so... Today we're filming an ice cream commercial. I just received a delivery frozen box full of ice cream. This box should stay cold till tomorrow. That's gonna give us then like two days time to film this entire thing. Yeah, it's gonna be a 15 second product video. So that is what we're doing. Focus on your message. It is the product you're filming, the brand behind the product, that determines the mood and style that the film should portray. When you do get hired to do a commercial gig, study the company's brand book, website, imagery. What is their style? What are the colors and tones? You wanna make sure whatever the feel in your video is, that your creative direction lines together with the brands. This ice cream video was all about being playful and fun, making the product pop. So going the opposite way, making it dark, greedy, moody, wasn't really a way to go. So study the brand and focus on your message. So as you can see, we got a lot of cans on the table over here. So now we're just building this set from these empty ice cream cans um, for the opening shot, it's sort of like pyramid looking structures on the back left and back right corners. We're gonna save the actual frozen bit then later from the freezer here in the middle. Think about your lighting. What mood you want the film to describe. Whenever I'm shooting a product video, especially if it's a client video, I share my lighting plans together with the client. This is something that you don't wanna overlook as it pretty much follows the message of the brand. Use reference photos to show what style of lighting you're gonna go for. This is an important step since it pretty much determines the world the brand's product is gonna be in. In this project, the client wanted the film to have a nice even light throughout the entire film. No shadows, no silhouettes, or any dark tones. I'm lighting this entire set in a way where we can use the exact same lighting throughout the entire shoot so we can tackle this shoot faster because of the melting ice cream firstly, but also it's nice to set everything up so that you don't need to necessarily change the lighting that much as you move forward. I got my lantern up there so that the, our backdrop, that is our world, the pink backdrop is gonna be all nice and bright and evenly lit. That's the main thing. That's what the client wants. Then with this aperture 120, we're bouncing off a little bit of light from the backdrop, giving our products a nice subtle backlight. And then with this aperture 300 Mark II, we are lighting the product that we're focusing on that's gonna be in the foreground, that's gonna be the actual ice cream. Just a time-saving thing, and also it's nice to just stick in that shooting mode where you don't need to do different setups all the time and so forth, so. Plan your shots. I normally have a finished video playing in my head whenever I'm going into production. And this is because all the prep work that goes into it. Coming up with a shot list for the shoot, carefully written down shots in the pre-production states, ensuring that all those ideas I wanna go for will end up in the film. It's gonna be like a jump cut, but we're gonna make it so that it looks like one continuous movement when that different flavor is cutting from one to the next and so forth. Keep it simple, but don't be boring. With these short 15 second ads, I always wanna make sure I open and end the film with the product. Logos and unique aspects of the product always highlighted and clear for the viewer to see. But with these clean beauty shots of the product, still bring few interesting ways to move the film forward while highlighting the product's features. Uh, 
creamy like ice cream. Yes. Make your client involved. The pre-production stage might be over and all the plans for the shoot are already made. But this doesn't mean that you shouldn't communicate together with your client when in production. So the client is in Sweden. I mean, in Helsinki, Finland, the client is in Stockholm, Sweden. Because they can't really be here at the shoot, um, what I always do on occasions like this is I'm taking photos of my opening shot and then quickly just sending the photo to them so they can still give their final input what the set looks like if something's off just to make sure that they know what I'm filming over here and if there's anything that needs to be changed let's say if there's a scenario in the edit later when I do send them the final draft they're not gonna go yeah we don't like that let's reshoot if that would happen then we would just waste time waste money so it's nice to send updates to the client as well just to make the whole experience a whole lot smoother make the client feel more involved as if they were here with me though they're not juggling with these dailies front and back together with the client while staying focused and not forgetting anything in the making can be tricky. And that is why all the plans and messages should be carefully written down in one place to help you stay on track with your productions. Which takes us to this video sponsor that is Milanote, a free form digital canvas where you can gather all your inspiration and ideas in one place. Whenever I'm undertaking a new client project, there's a lot of messy thinking and planning that goes into it. And Milanote has helped me to stay focused and organized. I used Milanote extensively on my latest project and it helped me to stay on track while going through different stages of my production. From the initial writing process to the final day of editing and sharing the film with the client. Give Milanote a try on your next filmmaking project. Sign up for free using the link in the description box. And lastly, I want to say, don't forget to experiment. Experiment and try to come up with new compelling ways to captivate the audience's attention. Go over and beyond the shot list you had written. Because it is through experimenting you can make awesome discoveries and potentially come up with new awesome ideas for your videos. So I used my finger to push that chocolate ice cream just a little bit. I went for the take and I got that chocolate dripping on the can exactly the way I wanted. That was, I got lucky with that one, I gotta say. Anyways, that is it for this video. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys again on the next one. I was tempted, tempted.